Russian universities make one more step to educating high-quality engineering staff. A pitch of engineering school program has taken place in Moscow. Kazan Federal University is among those who are preparing now to open such a school. Hi everyone, this is Kazan University. Today we are speaking about engineering studies at our university in our news. There are many facilities and uh, possibilities for our foreign students, PhD students and even postdocs. Professionals in every field. Which engineering majors are offered at Kazan University? Really, we have a very good facilities for research, uh, very nice laboratories, very nice research centers and unique equipment. All roads are open for young science. What are career paths for them in Kazan? And we see that these countries also are eager to cooperate with uh, Russia, with Kazan Federal University. Getting closer to the world. In which countries does Kazan University expand its presence? Kazan University is going to launch is an automatic engineering school, Kiber Autotech. The new department will be based at the Nabirzhna Chilny Institute. Their strategic partner is Kamas, Russia's biggest producer of heavy trucks. It is among the 15 biggest such companies in the world. Apart from that, Kemas also produces buses, tractors, electric vehicles and small-scale electronic power stations. Obviously, having such a partner is a crucial for the success in engineering education. Today's engineer is not just an industrial employee. First and foremost, they must be ready to work in high-tech companies and also be ready to undertake research. Kazan University has its own understanding of engineering education. It is based on fundamental knowledge of natural science, mathematics and technology. Their studies also include tight links with laboratories and companies. Which specializations are open for engineering students? Here we speak about in detail. Information technology is everywhere around us. We work with computers, we don't have a part with our mobile phones. Street cameras follow our movements, surgeons make intubations with help from cameras, geologists use drones to survey land. The development of information technology makes our lives more comfortable and safer every day. Program engineering is taught by no less than three institutes of Kazan Federal University. If we are talking about bachelor programs, uh, we usually uh, order or we usually tell people about our information technologies and fundamental informatics, information technology and systems and business economics. They are most popular programs in bachelor programming. But in master's degrees, uh, I think they are equal. The Institute of Computational Mathematics and IT concentrates on fundamental knowledge to give young people a solid foundation for further development in any area of information technology. Applied mathematics, on the one hand, uh, we have a theoretical basis and uh, on the other hand, we have a market uh, requirements. And uh, it is very important um, to adapt uh, the existing mathematical models to real data. Many student projects can grow into real startups with public funding. The two most important fields are AI and robotics. Experts in AI are currently working on a system of detection of dangerous situation by street cameras in order to make swift reports to the police and paramedics. Robotics researchers are developing driverless technology. We have a uh, unique amount of uh, intellectual property on our site. Uh, for example, uh, I am uh, one of the uh, most well-known experts in Russian Federation in the field of uh, computational box, uh, sensorics of robotics. The Institute of Computational Mathematics and IT has a special competition center for IT specialists. Our student team partakes in programming competitions and is often among the prize winners. Joshua, a Nigerian national, was an active contestant in such events in high school. And after arriving to Russia, he found out that there are the same possibilities here. So the biggest Olympiads I've participated in is the North Eurasian finals of the ICPC. And uh, my team got a third degree diploma in 2021 and in 2022. One of the younger areas of information technology is quantum cybernetics. It is aimed towards supercomputing and management of enormous masses of data. Our department uh, dealing and working in two uh, areas of computer science, in theory and in practice. In theory, we are dealing with quantum computation, 
quantum computation models, quantum algorithms, and randomized and randomized computation and randomized algorithms. In practice, we are dealing with uh, so-called blockchain uh, technology and database and all programming aspects of uh, which are, exist in modern world. Supercomputers consume a bigger amount of energy in comparison with others and require special materials. That's where the Institute of Physics and the Laboratory of Heterostructures and Post-Silicon Electronics comes into play. Our graduates, they have to learn, in fact, a lot of things. It's, it's uh, basics of radio electronics, it's a programming of microcontrollers, processors, it's uh, high-level program programming language operation, yeah. Then they could program the automation of the physical experiment and uh, automation of different industries. At both institutes, teachers and students are fluent in English. It's an absolute necessity for a specialization where the large bulk of literature is in this language. Uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, more than uh, 40 various uh, scientific laboratories equipped with very good equipment and we're still making the, the own, our own equipment. Uh, and uh, there are many facilities and uh, possibilities for our foreign students, PhD students and even postdocs to make the experiments. Uh, so in this collaboration, uh, we, we are doing a lot of good scientific work. Sadeh Kaviani, an Iranian postdoc researcher at the Department of General Physics, came to Kazan a couple of months ago. It was uh, about uh, design of uh, uh, nanoculators for treatment of iron overload disease uh, by using uh, density functional theory uh, methods. Tian, Iran is from China. It's one of the countries paying utmost attention to engineering training. She came to Russia because local engineering education is considered of high value in China. Ever since I was in high school, I was interested in physics and I wanted to study physics. So when I was studying bachelor in China, I was also majored in physics. So naturally, when I come to Kazan, I choose physics because I wanted to do deeper research and to learn more things. Naburzhny Cholny Institute also engaged in engineering education. There are several tracks for enrollment. After high school, after vocational school, in vocational school, and finally undergraduate and graduate students. There is a very high demand for qualified engineering staff. It has to do with import substitution as well as the need to produce new types of goods, which requires advanced skills and knowledge, especially in digitization. At Nabirzhny Chalny Institute, students can intern at the largest companies in Tatarstan. The Kama region is the industrial head of Tatarstan. There is a large number of production companies here, Kamas and Titov paper plant, the nearby Nizhnikamsk and Nizhnikamsk petroleum chemistry company, the city of Mendelevsk has Karpov chemical plant and so on. We have over 30 long-term cooperation agreements with these firms. Terabytes of information, millions of kilowatts of energy, new technology, everything that makes our life better and everything we use every day is created by engineers, the people who advance science. Hafiz Garayev, Safiya Arlova, Kazan University. Kazan University has always had a strong bond with its history. It is proud for its prominent scholars, Labachevsky, Butlerov, Zinin and many others. But we are also proud of your colleagues, young scientists who are employed in different spheres and in different countries. There are also those who choose to stay at the, their alma mater, and in quite significant numbers. There are hundreds of young scholars working at Kazan University. Mikhail Varflamiev, chairman of the Association of Young Science of the Kazan Federal University, member of the Russian Presidential Coordination Council for Young Affairs in Science and Education, speaks about opportunities for young people in work and research at Kazan University. Mikhail uh, Alexeyevich, good day. Nice to meet you. Uh, firstly, the question is uh, how many young scientists right now at the Kazan Federal University? It's a really huge community. It's more than 1,000 of young scientists in KFU who has a PhD or doctorate degree. This is professors, associate professors, assistant professors, 
It's a really very huge community nowadays. Uh, in what areas of science they are represented? Uh, generally, they represent uh, all the areas of uh, priority areas of Kazan Federal University. Uh, the biggest amount of young scientists is in Institute of Physics, and also we have a lot of uh, young scientists in Institute of uh, uh, Fundamental Medicine and Biology, in Institute of Geology and Petroleum Technologies, in Institute of Chemistry, and we have a lot of uh, lecturers and young uh, professors in. Institute of uh, Economics and Finance, in uh, Institute of International Affairs, Institute of Multicultural Relationships, and ph ph Philology. Yeah. All right. Uh, how does uh, Kazan Federal University uh, support young science? Uh, there are a lot of uh, programs uh, presented by university and by federal government. Uh, we have special fellowships from the uh, chiefs of university, from the rector of university for young scientists. Uh, we have special uh, fellowships from the uh, Council of Kazan Federal University and uh, they give opportunity to, to support some research of young scientists as well. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us more about the infrastructure uh, for young science. Is there anything you need in the laboratories and maybe uh, there are some issues uh, with accommodations? Uh, generally nowadays uh, many guests from many countries who came to KFU they wondered, really, we have a very good facilities for research, uh, very nice laboratories, very nice research centers and unique equipment, which you couldn't find in any place in, in the world, because it's really interesting research, research area, uh, research areas which are focused in KFU. And of course, accommodation, it's also very nice. Uh, there is a special program to support young scientists, especially from in our regions and countries by the accommodation. Uh, and this program was supported by the uh, reactor of KFU. And uh, we have a lot of uh, international uh, young scientists who worked and they really uh, like Kazan and Kazel Federal University and especially our laboratories. So all these facts support that we have very good infrastructure in Kazan University. So they have a great infrastructure and uh, is it possible for us foreign students to get a PhD at Kazan Federal University and engage in international research? Yeah, of course, we have uh, different uh, PhD programs. Uh, some of them are on English, so they can uh, study on them and get PhD degree from KFU. And of course, all our PhD students, all of them involved in the research uh, projects and we try to do them uh, practically oriented and also fundamentally important. Uh, we have some uh, international projects with uh, our countries. For example, we have international projects with China, with uh, Mexico, with uh, Middle East countries, with uh, uh, South America countries. So, of course, they can participate in this project and uh, do a great research job uh, during their study in KFU. I want to thank you for your answers and wish all the best uh, for your work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Here is such an example of young people's research work. Assistant lecturer of the Institute of Chemistry has presented an innovative animal shampoo. It is non-toxic and has both arcaceate and antimicrobial activity. The invention is very important for agriculture. The infection diseases of animals are a serious problem. New drugs are always welcome in the veterinary business. Semyon Romanov has already produced a lab sample of his product for testing on domestic animals. He has also applied for grant funding to launch production. The first batch will be produced at the Institute of Chemistry in Kazan Federal University. Other news of the Institute community in our digest. Top graduates of Kazan Federal University were giving diplomas during a picture ceremony at the main building courtyard. All the tests and exams are now in the past. It is a new era of your adult life. You have an interesting and rich life ahead of you, full of goals and victories. Overseas students were awarded diplomas of the preparatory school of Kazan University. Learning biology, chemistry, mathematics and the incredibly complex Russian language, that's a formidable task. I hope that the year was interesting and full of studies, concerts, socializing and friendship. I sincerely hope that this year in the walls of Kazan University will be a memory for the rest of your life. 
Uzbekistani students received commendation of complex double diploma course at the Our Nabrz Natural Institute. I'm happy to congratulate you on one of the most important occasions in your life. I'm glad that you have finished this difficult road and can today receive your deserved diplomas. Two mathematical conferences have opened at Kazan University. Many prominent scientists from Russia, China, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, India, Sweden and United States have joined. Kazan Federal University has long ago expanded beyond the borders of Russia. International cooperation of branch offices in other countries are always among our priorities. The university implements academic exchange, internship, joint research and other projects as part of agreements with international partners. Every year sees growing if numbers of international students at Kazan University and those who travel abroad from studies and internship. Our report tells more about main spheres of global cooperation at the university. Overseas partners from the Middle East are interested in Kazan University's educational products. We are oriented on uh, American and Eastern, uh, Western Europe um, practices. Our methodology uh, is going from Stanford, from Harvard. Just recently, a group of wise directors of Uzbekistani universities have completed advanced training courses at our university. Such international communication helps not only learn a lot of from each other, but also build new contacts for research and educational partnership. Notably, after their visit to the university clinic, the wise directors decided to build the same infrastructure at their universities. We are trying to focus our communication on eastern part. Probably it might be uh, Kazakhstan, probably it might be Tur Turkmenistan or Kyrgyzstan. I hope that uh, we, we could find some points of growth in um, Eastern Europe, but as uh, far as I understood, it, it is very intensely connected with geopolitical uh, situation. As part of long-term cooperation between Russia and Uzbekistan, Kazan University is going to open its branch in the city of Jizakh on the 1st of September of this year. The branch will focus on machine building, geology, program engineering, economics, IT, management, languages, pharmacy, as well as fundamental and applied research. Despite on uh, current situation in the world, we keep all our intention in a force. It means that we will follow our agreement and we will follow all our discussions forward in order to improve education here and in Egypt. The Higher School of Biology maintains cooperation with Iran. Currently we collaborate with uh, Tarbiat Madaris University uh, where three different groups, research groups, uh, uh, collaborate with us on various research projects. For example, one of the projects is bioinformatics. Uh, we conduct uh, research with uh, uh, human cancer cells. Second project is research for new biomarkers of migraine. An Iranian student partook in this project at KFU's laboratories. And finally, the last project is about antibiotic resistance. As a result of our collaboration, we published uh, a number of uh, research articles in leading international journals uh, and uh, Iranian students, they actually defended their PhD, got their PhD in Iran and uh, uh, happily found uh, new positions in uh, different Iranian universities. At the Institute of Management, Economics and Finance, everyone is aware of the generational shift that is happening worldwide. Here, they aim to enhance students' analytical and decision-making skills by introducing key businesses' concepts uh, that are applicable in the world range of settings. We do not only keep our students with knowledge and skills they need to succeed in professional life. We also create a sense of belonging they will remember and cherish throughout their lives. We make our foreign students be the part of the brotherhood that later will transform into alumni community. The institute cooperates and collaborates with universities from all over the world through international networks, dual programs, professional training programs, research collaboration and interdisciplinary research projects. For example, this year the first group of students majoring in category from the National University Uzbekistan graduated the double diplomas. The program is provided entirely in English language. We provide our students with tools and knowledge needed to embark to a broad range of careers across a variety of industries. What's more, 
we provide them with entrepreneurial skills that are of great demand in any country. A special training center of the Institute of Management, Economics and Finance provides different programs in according management and finance. The institute defending the part of a large community who inherits Kazan University with its history, prominent researchers, scientific breakthroughs. Right now, the focus of cooperation moves from European countries to Asia, Turkey, Iran, China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and many other countries. And we see that these countries also are eager to cooperate with uh, Russia, with Kazan Federal University. And of course, they count uh, Russian education as very uh, uh, of a high quality and um, a very good one. And there is a huge demand for Russian education in these countries. At this moment, we have a signed agreement on creating a Kazan University branch in Cairo, Egypt. In 2023, faculties of preparatory training, general medicine, dentistry and pharmacy will open doors. In 2024, faculties of physical therapy and nursing care should join them. We discussed with some, uh, for example, Turkish and Iranian universities, uh, joint degree programs, uh, especially related to petroleum engineering, to economics, to Russian as a foreign language, for example, that's very interesting for them. The university has reached agreements to export the Russian language studies platform Studarius to Ankara University and Tigran University and is now discussing specifics of launching Russian studies there starting this September. Two groups of Uzbekistani vice rectors have been hosted at Kazan University, and another group is expecting in August. Negotiations on the same format are ongoing with Kazakhstan. So now we're discussing some professional development programs for Uzbekistan in the field of robotechnics, uh, mechatronics, in the fields of chemistry, geology, petroleum engineering. There are short programs, uh, just maybe a month long, for their uh, teachers, for their professors, and so they will come to our university and study for a short um, period of time uh, to get uh, new competences in their fields. We are now planning a network of preparatory school program with Turkish and Iranian universities, as well as in Egypt and China. The first semester of such programs will be held at home countries, and the second at Kazan Federal University. Hafiz Garayev, Nikita Akinshin, Ilya Andreev, Kazan University. Anyone can become a part of Kazan University team. Our admission campaign is in full swing. All information is available on our website. Welcome to our alma mater, an institution with 200 years of history, traditions and successful scientific schools. Kazan University is comfortable for deep immersion in scholarly pursuits and wonderful leisure. Good luck and be safe. Bye-bye.